What the heck is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Ajax. Now before we start, you know, the good stuff of coding, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what the heck is Ajax. Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So what the heck is that? Well, basically Ajax isn't a new programming language. It's basically a new way to use JavaScript and XML together to create some really awesome things on your website. So let me go ahead and actually uh, show you guys a couple examples. And before I do that, it'll probably be a better idea to show you guys or explain the origins of Ajax. And I'm not going to give you guys like a brief history of the internet or anything because let me go ahead and tell you a little story. Whenever I was in college, every single computer class I took, it always started out with the teacher explaining, and even if you buy a book nowadays, you know, it's like the first chapter of the book is always the origins of the internet. And I'm like, dude, I don't care how Martin Luther King Jr. and George Washington founded the internet. I just want to learn MySQL. So I just want to warn you guys that I'm not going to, you know, give you guys the history of the internet, but it is useful to learn the origins of Ajax because then whenever you're developing a web page you're like wow you know this problem right here Ajax was made to fix problems like this and it would actually help you uh, you know as a web developer so basically what happened is way back when they didn't have really interactive web pages the web pages were basically like books where they just gave you a little bit of information so if you wanted to go to you know like the new boston .org, you would type http www.thenewboston.org and it would send a request for that web file using http which is the hypertext transfer protocol and by the way a protocol is just a way to transfer information over the internet so say you wanted to see you know a new web page well just go ahead and click a link or type it again and boom it would send that request again and your server would say okay you wanted this file here it is now this is pretty cool but right now web pages are a lot more interactive where the user can actually interact with them now they can interact with them in a couple different ways one way is just going ahead and typing you know your information in the form and sending it to the server and it does something however that's kind of the old technique before Ajax the problem let me go ahead and actually show you guys some of the problems um, this is a social network that I've been working on and I actually took all the Ajax out I ripped it off to show you guys what a new website is like without Ajax so let me go ahead to my account and what happens if I go down you know to this person and I'm like oh this picture is kinda cool Kathy Singleberry maybe if I like her picture then you know she'll want to date me so I go ahead and like this but this web page doesn't use Ajax so look what happens I press like and the entire web page has to reload and if you scroll down now you can see that I indeed I indeed did like that photo but it's kinda messy because all I wanted to do was like a little photo it should be that only this link updated but just to update this link and give me a notification that I like this picture the entire freaking web page had to reload well that kinda sucks and let me go ahead and uh, let me see give you guys another example say that I wanted to leave a comment on this it says okay a couple comments here and I want to respond to Benjamin Lee he's like wow Bucky your site is looking really nice I want to be like oh cool thanks man and I go ahead and press enter and wow the entire web page actually needed to reload whenever I sent that even though you know it happened kinda of quickly that's what happened so another thing and this is you know the last example in this little activity feed right here you can see that okay this is what people are up to here are my notifications but in order to refresh this it doesn't automatically refresh whenever someone you know makes a new comment or something you actually have to refresh the entire web page and as you can see it's not very you know 2013 ish it's old so Ajax it was basically invented to solve this problem. It allows you to update certain portions of your web page dynamically without having to really reload the entire page.